Hi guys, I hope you're well. A couple months ago, someone asked me to review my Kabuse, and it's now November 2023 where I get to actually do the review. So buckle in. So this is the Kabuse, and I have the little stylus with me. Now, the stylus is sold separately to the Kobo, which is a bit of a downer. But the reason why I selected this Kobo is because I love to annotate on my Kobo. Just highlighting with my finger is not enough. I need to circle, I need to make arrows, I need to... It's a bit crazy. Not gonna lie, it's a bit crazy. So this is an example. I'm currently reading Maruhu by Sheila Haiti. This is the type of ex example of annotation I'm doing. Circling underlining i just write i sometimes type in the my notes but sometimes i just write them when i have enough space so let me show you how it works so at the very beginning this is how it would just be so just the cover of your the book that you're currently reading i'm pretty sure that you can also change it to the fact that it's just like a, a motif and not necessarily the cover of the book i would not be able to tell you that now, right now it says sleeping, but if I were to press to the button long enough, it would say powered off and be all grayed out. At the bottom, it also say how far along I am with to the book. So I'm 51% done with the book. And then once you open the book, the Kobo, I have at the top, I have to like change how I'm doing this. Let me be here. So at the top, you have all the books that I'm currently reading. To be honest, these three books I haven't touched in a while so i might have to put it as a did not finish in my personal reading journal and just these are just other books that are on my library so here the next at the bottom we have my books and these are all the books that i have downloaded i have at this point right now i have 68 books and i'll put it on the side of the pixel and storage stuff that i don't <laughs> know much about but there's a lot of storage and I plan on putting more books so i really not concerned about storage issues I have 35 purchases and then the cool thing is that you can all the books that you have can be stored and synced to a Dropbox account so that's very much great I would recommend doing a separate Dropbox especially for your books so it's not all mixed with your personal professional accounts if you have a separate account for reading that would, be, that would be great there's a notebook tab which it says can oh we have a new feature i think notebook auto sync and backup your notebooks can now automatically sync and backup to your Kobo account okay great i haven't used it often but i think this could be a good tab if you want to do a journal reading a reading journal in the sense that every time you've done reading a book you could just create a new and i don't know like ideas or just i would say reading journal and you could just really much use that pencil and just write down your feelings all of that stuff and you can also type the, t the keyboard not in white it's not as fast as texting um on your phone or writing on your ipad but it's quite responsive not gonna lie i have been <laughs> talking situations where I am so involved in right typing my notes that I'm just in the metro or in the bus typing and people are like why is she typing on a big iPad but it's just I'm not this story and so we have the notebook section and then we also have the discover so any books that are your wish list the uh, new books that are coming up everything is in here and the pricing is not too bad for no ebooks. It can be you have free books, which I always like a free book. Yeah, some of them are like five pounds, one pound. You have a wide variety of books. And then the last part is more, which is all your settings and Dropbox. Oh, there's also a Google Drive. I I didn't know they had Google Drive now. That's great. Um, just activity, how much you've been reading. There's little like milestones accomplished type of stuff i haven't read too much lately but it's for motherhood it says that two hours of reading four minutes average per session 
because I mainly read while I'm going to work or to uni. An average is 2.2 pages per minute. And then all, all the books I have downloaded, 19% of the books that I have downloaded on my Kobo are finished. I finished 13, which is about almost 50 hours of reading total. So, you know, just a little things like this. A lot of people are wondering whether Kobo or Kindle is whichever is best. Uh, to me personally, Kindle was not the best option for me. First of all, it's with Amazon and I feel like Amazon has too much information about me. And I don't think they need to know about my reading habits. Okay, and also that's why that I don't really use. I I used to have a Goodreads account, but I deleted it, and I'm now using Storygraph, which is more user friendly. And I like the stats summary at the end of every year, so I, I I like this a bit more than Goodreads. But also I do know that good. Uh, I do know that Kindle is more catered to the American uh, market, and it can be a bit hard sometimes where. If you live outside the US, it might be sometimes difficult to purchase or also borrow books on your Kindle. Which, I forgot to mention, there is a feature on the Kindle, uh, not, not Kindle, there's a feature on the Kobo, on every Kobo where you can use Overdrive and that allows you to download books, to borrow digital books from your local library. I haven't used it yet, but um, from what I've heard, it's very useful, if, especially if you're traveling and you don't know, or if you don't know if you're gonna like a book, that's an amazing feature. And I I've, I've haven't heard anything bad from people reviewing online about the overdrop. And also, if you like audiobooks, the audiobook section, there's an audiobook section. I don't really listen to audiobook. From what I'm seeing, for example, it says top 50 audiobook, there's a Matthew Perry audiobook. It's 31 pounds, the Britney Spears uh, audiobook is 16 pounds. I don't know, I'm not, uh, I don't really read audiobooks, so I don't know if these are reasonable prices. Yeah, and also you have free audiobooks here and there. I just prefer Kobo in general, just the overall experience. And I've heard it once about uh, someone saying that they tried to, they tried to buy a book because they were travel, uh during outside of the US and it was a bit tricky for them when they were using their Kindle. I don't know too much about it, but just in general, I really prefer a, a Kobo. And also good thing is that you can uh, download EPUB. PDF also works great. I have PDF for a couple of books. I'm pretty sure this one was a PDF because you can see, as you can see, if I tap, there's nothing highlighting, um, but you can still annotate and that's the thing with the, the little stylus is that you can, it's quite responsive uh, and then if you press on one of the buttons it will highlight and the other button is to erase and it's quite responsive. Yeah. I don't know, that's a very easy, very, very easy to use. So you can download articles, journals, books, PDF, EPUB. I don't know if they have other um, extensions that they accept. The main thing people like about just any e-reader is the fact that um, whenever you tap on a word that you don't know, there's a little dictionary that appears. Even when you're um, outside without Wi-Fi, it usually works because the dictionary is already downloaded and you have, for example, English to French or just French or Italian or Dutch. So you can download any uh, dictionary that you want and from there you can just use it and then also and from there when you tap a certain word or sentence you can add a book highlight or you can even search and go forward with google and wikipedia i don't use the wikipedia and google search because obviously it's very the uh, e-reader is very just pretty much for reading you're not going to have to like do extensive research on your your e-reader so it might not be as quick as a phone or a computer but for just like just a quick research i'm pretty much i'm pretty sure that it's just very effective i'm like all over the place i'm so sorry but when you're reading you have a little a little like reader meter for to see how far along on the book you are but, um you can also change it for how far along in the chapter you are i like to put the chapter at the top and for pretty much for this chapter I'm 66% done and you can change uh, how you want to read 
you want to read like this mine is blocked on portrait mode but i you can pretty much do rotate so if i want it to read like this it will rotate if i want to read it like this it will rotate so it's pretty much how you want it Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, it's not it's not the quickest device but buying this product. I did expect for it not to be too Quickly, I have it stuck on portrait because that's how I read it buttons if you want to if you prefer reading I also have the setting to swipe Some of them like just to tap so if I were to tap it doesn't work But if I swipe these are all control on the setting set uh, section and you can also adjust the font, the margins, all that stuff. That's up to you. The font, you can adjust the brightness. And I also have it scheduled that after 11 p.m. when I read, there's a little, the light is a bit different. And yeah, you can, you can just, from the setting, you can just personalize your reading experience to your liking. This is my first e-reader, so I don't, I can't compare it to another e-reader that I have. It's either books or... Or just nothing <laughs> but I really love my e-reader in the sense of especially if I'm traveling or if I'm just commuting to work at uni I don't have necessarily to have a big book in my bag I have weak shoulders okay I can't sometimes a book is not it so this is very light and you can add multiple books which also made me reevaluate my reading experience of when I have a physical book I have to read one book at a time, but with this Kobo, I have I have so many books. If I don't feel like reading this book, I can just hop on another one, and it's it just changed my reading experience for the better, really. I have a cool picture, is and it's the fact that when there's not a lot, enough light, I don't have necessarily to change my brightness. Okay, guys, so right now this is quite well lit, but if I were to go to a a space where there's not enough light i can still manage to read it correctly so if you can just see here can i go to here you can see that i'm still able to read and i didn't change any settings and all that stuff so sometimes when i'm in the bus and i don't know it just gets, gets a bit darker in the bus i'm still able to read it doesn't affect my reading and the lighting doesn't hurt my eyes whatsoever I I really love I really love this. Yeah. And then when I want to go back to the light, it's all good. Yeah, all great. Hit or miss factor is the battery life. Guys, battery life on this Kobo stage is amazing. But then again, it really depends on your reading lifestyle. So far I've been reading when I'm commuting so it's not too long but i have been able to read for a while like for weeks without even charging my kobo okay so currently my kobo is at 75 percent and i think the last time i charged it was last week and before that i think the last time i charged my kobo was like about like a month ago and i still had pretty much enough charge i think when I charged it a week ago, my Kobo was at 30%. So the the power life, the battery life is very much amazing for the Kobo. Every time that you annotate and you're done reading the book, it's all synced up to your Google Drive, uh, to the, your Dropbox. So now they have the option to do Google Drive. So really much, I really could not recommend more this Kobo. Obviously, if you're not about annotating like you can do pretty much fine with the Kobo without the stylus and the stylus it only works with the Kobo Sage and I think there's another there's a bigger Kobo um, that also uses the stylus they have other small Kobos where you don't you can't use the stylus but I I do think that this is a pretty good size for me very to my phone and it's about this size which is not too bad. And if I compare it to a couple of books, so for example, this is Infinite Waza, which is a French book. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much the same the same height. Um, the Kobo is a tiny bit uh, bigger, and obviously, it's quite slim. 
right? And obviously when you're reading the book, you're reading like this, so... I don't know how I would like compare it and... Yeah, so I don't know how I'm doing this. <laughs> normal people... See, normal people is a bit bigger, a bit taller than the Kobo. Obviously, it's very slim. So it's really much... It's, it's great. We have clear that book was so difficult to carry around town. I I don't know. I had it, had trouble. That's why my Kobo is the great a great yeah. See? It's tall, it's slim. This is thick. I had so much difficulty. This is another good book. This is Convenience Store Woman. Um see all the books that I have are pretty much taller. This is why I'm telling you, this is so easy to carry around when you have a tool bag, a bag, a purse. I don't know if it, that could carry in a purse. I don't think so. But just your backpack, this is very easy. Yep. Making a scene, also a great book, obviously. So I'm just like comparing this to everything. This is my iPad. Like this is an 11 inch. This is my Kobo, obviously, you can see. Um, this is my everyday journal, and this is my Kobo. So, you can see, it's, this is a bit bigger, but, but yeah, it's very easy to carry around. Now, I think, <laughs> because sometimes I keep forgetting this is not my iPad, and this is not <laughs> magnetic. I think on certain spaces, I think here it's magnetic, but it's not convenient because when you're when this is squished to my this can easily oh she's quite okay. But you know if I'm putting books and then it can just slide down and then have to like dig in my bag. Not really easy. Um, the charging. You can charge with it using a USB-C, very easy. And this is uh, this works with the battery, with a battery. Let me tell you something. Finding a 4A battery, I'm pretty sure this is 4A battery. It was not easy. And yeah, 4A battery, this skinny battery. It was not easy to find one. So I'm telling you, but I'm pretty sure these batteries um, were for a long time. But I still wanted to be sure, and I, my, I, I took a two-pack battery just to be sure, in just in case. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. If you are looking for an e-reader, this Kobo Sage is the best e-reader on the market. I'm, I have no issue with this Kobo. Great e-reader. Obviously, if you are looking for a smaller one, Kobo has a wide range of, of e-readers small big large extra large with stylus no stylus whatever you want there's gonna be a couple for you and just the the way that you can have access to books at buy books uh, adding your own books borrowing from the library it's all easy all simple from everywhere around the world i've not had no issues it's it's perfect it's really great i cannot recommend it to you more so this was my review for my couple sage and I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. And yeah, see you guys next time.